Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're watching us from. My name is George the Fail House Marriott. Joining me today is Alex. I like little green forest men more. All right. Hello. Hello and welcome. This isn't just a radio show. Look, we're here. Hello. It's it's the morning. I didn't realize it's how curious. terrible this hat looked on my head. Yeah, it's fine. Wow. Yeah. That's great. I, I, uh, I came up with the name for you last night and I just remember what it was. That's disappointing. You were going to be Alex to poll more, but that's fine. <laughs> um, welcome to the Rivals of Ixalan. That's the name of the set, right? Yeah, yeah Rivals, Rivals of, of Ixalan. Ixalan. Pre-release. Pre-release. Live from Athena Games. Whoop whoop. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, hello. Uh, just a quick recap. You played the Midnight Pre-release, correct? No, I didn't. You didn't. I you didn't. were just here. I was just. I was here for a bit, and then I went home. Excellent. None of us have. Neither of us have of us real have knowledge of the set. That's good. There's big things and dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs and vampires and pirates in Mustang. Yes, that that is what there are. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we're going to have a look at some parts now. Yeah. Where are we going to start? Uh, well, we can just sort of if we do a screen cap of like this. This of like this. Let's add that then. Column. Let's see if this is the one it works with. If you do it just this column, yeah, right up to here. No, this is ah. the one I hate. Boo, has boo. Let's make the other web browser. Cool. Uh, hang on. If we, oh my god, lock that to there. We need to have the chat alongside it. Fuse moving to the left, yeah. Doesn't fuse to the. It won't fuse to the left because it'll just go onto the screen. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to fuse it to the right. Let's chat. <laughs> God, chat can float. Yeah, chat just goes where we've got space for. This is a real professional stream. Close this. This can be here. Chat can be. Oh god, never mind. Chat can be there. Yeah. Cool. Is that. There we do? go. That'll, that'll be fine. Sure. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> oh man. It's not as bad as it could have been. Could have had no camera. Could have had no camera. The truth between no camera and professional stram is acceptable. Let's make that big. So, here we go. We'll start with the big mythic. The big mythic things. So, left to right, we've got not Asperia. Not Asperia. Um, we, I like this card. I think this card is great. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, what? It's an interesting, like, Godfarer's gift dot <coughs> blue white control card. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't like to sorcery speed and removal before you get to attack with it. Yep, which is nice. And they when can you only, attack, you get to draw cards. When you attack, you get to swing as rev. And then when you... Uh, and it doesn't let like to instant speed removal, really, because you're playing blue-white and have counter spells. Yeah. So I think it's just... It's a big old beat stick that just doesn't die. Yes, that's probably correct. It uh, does seem decent. It seems alright and limited. Yeah. Um, Very limited. Maybe constructed, but probably not. Yeah. What about the Tyrant of Orzaraka? Kumina. Yeah. Um, Tyrant of Oraz Oraska? Oraska? Yeah. I think it's a good card. I think it's great. I think it's really good. I think it's the the thing you want for your limited fish deck, and the thing you want for your constructed fish deck as well. Yeah, it's also an incredibly good blocker. Yeah, 3 2 4 is As we are going to see, because this format is full of two drops. <laughs> with two Hooray power. for two drops. And, yeah. Oh, look, it's someone in the chat. Sweet. I had to wipe it in my first pool, just had to cut it around two. Not necessary. Fair enough. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Elanda could be good. The Dusk Rose. Um, she she seems good if you got a lot of stuff, but she's yeah. also kind of. Eh, Super Mare. Right? It's not amazing. Yeah. She could be ridiculous, but she's not going to do anything for a couple of turns. No. And you're paying four mana for a one. A four one. mana for a one one. Um, flavorfully, the first vampire on Exelon, if that means anything. She's the first vampire on Exelon. Nice. And we get a card. Yeah. 
cool. Hooray for things. Angrath, however. Angrath is dope. Angrath is a very angry man. Described to me as the Rakdos Liliana of the Vale. I think Liliana is the Rakdos Liliana of the Vale. Huh? Because she, she's black. And it's half of the colours. Yeah, but like the the red lily out of the veil, like the actual ragdoll lily. Okay, the veil. she he seems okay. He does similar things. Yeah, he's a bit expensive for what he does. Yeah, but if you look at him as um, five a five mana gate of a creature, then sacrifice it. Hmm. Um, he's not terrible. I'm not saying he's bad. It. I'm saying he's worse than Huluali. Yeah, New Huali is. Very, very good. All you do is minus her. <laughs> she ticks down twice, hopefully. Yeah, that's all she does. And then maybe pluses to do it again. Like, best case scenario, she minuses twice and then pluses to maybe, like, four again so you can keep minusing it. She just just makes your little thing a scary thing. Yeah, it's your little thing's now a good thing. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and do this. Use the scrolly thing. Scroll up once. With the scroll, okay. No, because the scroll down thing isn't the same amount of scroll. Oh, is it not? Okay. So we quickly looked at these because I don't know what they were. Um. Uh, so <coughs> the red one was ridiculous. Yeah. So the red one, once it flipped, I'll just describe them so we don't have to do anything nonsensey. Um. So obviously you can see the flip condition, and then when it flips, it turns into a land. Taps for any, they all tap for any color of mana. And then for one and a red, you can deal two damage to an opponent. And for two and a white, you can just choose, choose, a, cruiser random choose a creature at random that, that has attacked. attacked you. Not attacking you, so you have to do it after combat. Yeah. But attacked you and destroy it, which is pretty dope. Yeah. Hadana's Climb is pretty decent. Yep. Again, tap for any color of mana. And then an activated ability for three. So one and a green and a blue. You have a creature plus X plus X and flying until end of turn where X is its power. Yeah. Which is... Insane. Profane precision procession is the best front side. The best front side definitely for limited. Um, yeah. The reverse side is a activated ability for four mana to put one of the creatures you've exiled with it into play. So yeah. obviously you can do that three times. Stall the vault is the worst for limited. The worst for limited and and probably the worst overall. Yeah. And just well, terrible. Definitely on the front side. The back side has the, the side. historically most broken. <laughs> non-power card yeah so the flip side is Telerian Academy so it taps for a blue equal to the number of artifacts you control yeah and it also taps for a mana of any colour and Journey to Eternity in is... my opinion I think this is the best one yeah I think it's pretty close yeah so um, obviously you get the creature back when it flips as well which is great and then the activated belief for five mana returns a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield yeah because what we want is was recurrable creatures. We just wanted more recurrable nonsense. And then we get to... And then we've got... The Elder Dinos. Elder Dinos. The old dudes. Elder Saws. So you get keyword McGee. <laughs> keyword you soup dot dinosaur. Every keyword possible in white. Find double strike, vigilance, trample, and trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only missing is lifelink. It is not a chroma. I think it's the best way of doing that. It's a chroma with slightly less words, and it's a it's bit It's the bigger. chromosaur. A chromosaur. Um, then we get the Loch Ness Monster. Yep. Uh, obviously a bomb in limited. Obviously these are all bombs in limited. Uh, yeah. Except the red one, I think. I think this one... Wait, let's see if I can point at it. This one's terrible. I think. Uh, it's alright. It's six mana, six, six, with an ability. It's probably not terrible. Um, yeah. uh, Tetsu Mock. Blue one's impossible to kill. The black one is a, like a seven mana destroy target creature, and then an eight mana destroy target two creatures, stuff like that. Or you can like yeah. you control your opponent a bit, like like the turn before you do it. Just like there it is. <laughs> that card is very good. Look at all the creatures that are about to die. Uh, yeah, the red one. I think it's the weakest out of all. It of them. like the best bit is you get at least pretty good to get at least a card a turn. Uh, from it. I mean, you hit both yours and your opponent's deck. So yeah, if, it means you're probably going to hit, probably on like, average, at least one card a turn. You hit something, hopefully. And then Gahala is just a very, very Delta. angry dude. Uh, yeah, she's just big. Uh, it's, yeah, large yeah. and in charge. I think, 
Possibly the black one's the best one limited. I mean, there is also an eight mana when you win the game card there. In okay. oh, set what, out there. The, oh sure, yeah, I guess. I guess like you, you well. play it. It's kind of hard to get rid of. Almost impossible to get rid of. And it's gonna and it's gonna hit you for eight every turn, right? And kill a dude every turn. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so if we go down, you can't scroll it. You can't scroll it. You got to use the sidebar. There we go. Boom. So these are so, the four forerunners, forerunners and, and the equally as navigator. powerful <laughs> mythic. Uh, the forerunners <clears> are pretty good. I'm a fan of the forerunners. Um, they tutor for your bum, and then they all do a mediocre thing. They all do something that just gives them that little bit of value. Yeah. Uh, but the same with the harbingers and Lord, yeah. right? They all did something. Yeah, they all have an extra set of text like on the them. Elf one was a mana door kind of thing. Yeah, like the forerunner getting bigger or yeah. giving. Plus one, plus one. Pretty it's standard. Um, We've seen draining them before. Or just pulling a line. <clears throat> like, it's not terrible. We've seen uh, them it's before. Pretty decent. We like them. We yeah. think they're great. They are good. And the Navigator is alright. Yeah, I don't think it's a bomb and limited just no. because it's a two mana one one. Yeah. And as we're going to see, two mana one ones are over costed. <laughs> yeah. So now we have. O O ring a saw. O ring a saw. Oblivion, Oblivion a saw. Yeah. Whatever. That I card's good. I think it's. I think this card is pretty good. If you have any way of um, dealing damage to it yourself, like there's a really good red removal spell that we're gonna get to later. Um, yeah. It's the deal four to one of their things. Deal two to one of your things. Yeah. Just it's two for ones. Admiral's order. The Admiral's legacy order, playable. The the good. card I would say is legacy playable. Uh, counter spell that's not playable in other formats. <laughs> no, um, standard probably in all. Yeah, style. it's standard. It's going to get played in yeah. definitely. Uh, Twilight Prophet is it's definitely the sh- strangest draw effect strangest in the bob format ever. Definitely playable in limited. Yeah, probably playable in constructed. Nowhere else. Obviously. Yeah, you mean in standard, right? Oh, it's standard, yes. Yeah, because if you're just saying constructed, yeah, yeah, yeah standard. Yeah, yeah, not modern. The Phoenix, the Phoenix is great. The Phoenix is great. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it in modern. Yeah, I somewhere. can see it somewhere in modern. Um, standard and constructed, obviously, it's an all star. Yep, and it's going to be great and limited because yep. it's a recoverable flyer. Yeah. So that's always uh, good. T- two for ones are great. And Polyraptor, speaking of two for ones, <laughs> speaking of X for ones, uh, Polyraptor is stupid. It's absurd. Because why? <laughs> it just keeps making you make an extra copy and then you make two extra copies. Yeah. And then your opponent concedes. Yeah. Because what? Yeah. And if you have the forerunner of the Empire it goes infinite and does silly, silly garbage. Yeah. Uh, right. That so one. we've got th- th- several good cards. Yeah. I think Bishop Binding's pretty three good. of these cards are great. The Bishop of Binding is also quite weak. Yeah, it's a it's only a one one, but it can attack as an X X because it can give yeah. itself the buff. Um, but it is the weakest Banisher Priest that's ever existed, or the weakest Fiend Hunter, or the weakest whatever. The weakest bagger. The weakest what? Baggers. They put things in bags. Baggers, sure. Um, All right. Yeah. The s- Crafty Cut first. Let's spud twenty two. Oh. LH Spud. LH Spud 22. How you doing? Yeah. Crafty Cup Burst is kind of cool. Yeah. It's a way to beat Polyraptor. <laughs> it certainly is a way to beat Polyraptor. <laughs> I'm going to go infinite. Are you? Uh, I'm going to go infinite. Um, uh, Champion of Dusk. Champion of Dusk is, is interesting. Dangerous. I wouldn't play it if I have more it, than three vampires in play. It's like the zombie one. With the beginning of your turn, you lose X life and draw cards with X number of zombies you control. Yes, I know that. It's yeah, the commander black. card. Yeah, it's black. It's a yeah. Then we have overhyped. Overhyped garbage. Card. This is just bad. It's, it's just so not Blood Moon. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just bad. I like how it's the call out to Blood Moon because it's the Blood Sun. Yeah, but it draws you a card. And who cares? It doesn't stop your opponent winning. It doesn't stop. It stop your opponent doing things. It doesn't stop Tron, for no. example. People have talked about putting it in Tron to stop Ghost War <laughs> and Tech Edge and stuff. Wow, okay. 
Yeah. Um, and Deeper Elite, Deeper Elite is super good. If you're in the fish deck, you and want you the get, fish. And you get that guy who says, Murphy, you control plus one plus one counters are unblockable. Yeah. This guy kind of makes that happen. He's very good. Then he does. Uh, you can either make himself swole or make something else swole. There you go. And uh, we got some mediocre rares. Yeah. This guy... The Paladin of Atonement. I'm a fan. I think he could get out of control. Yeah, um, luckily he's a two drop, not a three drop. That's pretty good. Because yep. if it was a three drop, it'd be overcosted. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty good as a two drop, especially considering that the vampire mechanic of Exilan block is hurting yourself. And then gaining a load of life. Anyway. And then gaining the life back. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, Release to the Wind, I think, is strangely applicable. Really? In terms of, there's a fair amount of really strong like ETB effects, and there's also a strong theme of combat tricks in this set because all of the creatures are pretty aggressive. Yeah. So, so it can maybe two for one them. Yeah. Or you can maybe. do it to their guy when they go to kill you. It's like, oh, alright. Yeah. Or you could do it to, like you the, have a bag, but the Murphic mechanic is plus and plus encounters, so you can technic you can theoretically reset a bunch of counters, or there's a load of good auras in the set, so you can technically screw yeah. up those. That's pretty good. It's a good way to get rid of um the other aura. The the flip aura. Yes, yeah. Uh so I'm just gonna read this card. Dead man's chest. It's That's, when the creature yeah. dies you gaunty them. It's alright. It's but you get it. all the cards. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's very fine. Uh, apologies, I've been awake for about an hour. Um, this Brass Bounty is just terrible. Brass Bounty is very, very bad and limited. And Jade Light Ranger is very, 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 good. very good and limited and standard. And possibly modern. And possibly modern. Uh, Radiant Destiny is. I reckon this is good in standard if you are the Loka Mono White Vampire deck. Yeah. But I think it is bad in limited because you're never yeah. going to have that many of each thing. Well, you might. You might have enough vampires. <clears throat> you might have enough vampires. Because you but... white black the vampire theme. Like, But apart from that, you're probably not going to do it. Yeah, it's definitely not for the dinosaur deck or anything like that. No. Uh, Induced Amnesia. Induced Amnesia is one of the cards that when I read it, I think it is probably broken but I don't know how or why and it's bad in limited yeah that's bad but it's one of those cards that I wouldn't be surprised to see being broken at some point yeah it's like some card is released in the future and suddenly it's the best card ever and then we reach the <laughs> the card that sums up this set the most it's a two mana two two Woo. with pseudo evasion and another line of text. And another line of a very good line of text. It's got death touch, so you don't want to put a bigger guy in the way. And it buffs a dude. Yep. To make them slightly better. Because combat tricks and evasion are everything in this form. It does the thing that it does. And the Daredevil Snapcast to you. Snapcast to them. It's pretty good. I'm a fan. I um, like it. It's very interesting. Obviously, gr honestly, great and limited. Yeah. And again, it's a two man a two power it's a two guy. Man, a two power guy. This guy has first strike, which makes yeah. him better than most of them. <laughs> and the card that, if you can untap with, is probably pretty deep. Yeah, like if your if your curve is like whatever, play this on turn four, and then your turn five is three drop two drop. I think you probably win the game. Yeah, um, it's it's a good card if you already have a decent board and like an all right parity board, and then yeah. you get to untap and explore two times. Yeah, that's pretty good. You just start grinding out value. So Reese has opened Blood Sun, and no. was like, "Is it worth money?" No. And he's playing weird abs and control. Weird abs and control, sure. Yeah, because the Dutch. It's never a bad idea to terrorize the Dutch. And then we've got something that I can't quite work <laughs> out. Then roll past that comment, it's fine. <laughs> um, so All this right. is where we got to, and I stopped paying attention to the okay, set. Okay, so we've got Slaughter the Strong, which is a fantastic board wipe, Bish. Yeah, that's an interesting so way of doing each it. Each player chooses 
total power four greater, so you can't keep a five drop. I can't keep a five power guy, but you can keep a four power guy so long as you want to kill everything else, and you can keep two two power guys that kind of thing. I think this card is great. Yep. I think this card is very powerful and limited. I think it's very powerful and standard. I uh, modern isn't creaturey enough for it. I don't think modern is creaturey enough for it, but the problem is you probably end up brassing yourself in most decks. Because sure. while you play three by Wrath, you can just play Wrath that says destroy everything. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Kumana's Awakening. Is uh, you know, Terra Bad. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, look, it's probably going to go into that stupid taking turns deck. Oh, Mastermind's Acquisition? Yeah. Yeah? No, uh, Kumana's Awakening. Oh, okay, sure. It's really? another way of drawing, but it also fits into your other Wanecon, which is slowly building the map. Because if you have the city's blessing, only you draw a card. Yeah, in which case it becomes like another dictate, not howling mine. Like if you wanted another effect for that, it's probably this one. Yeah, but they have eight. Yeah, like but four to four howling mines is a lot. True. And this is just strictly worse than. <sighs> What's the four mana howling mine? That's double howling mine. Dictate of Crucifix. No, the four mana one. Yeah, it's an artifact. I have no idea. Double howling mine. Font uh, of Mythos. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, um, Mastermind's Acquisition, I think, is great. It's probably not playable, but it's great. Demonic Wish. Wish to... Wish... Yeah. Wish is probably aren't playable. Like, it's especially not in the formats where they're more applicable. Sure. Uh, form of the Dinosaur. Form of the Dinosaur is very, very bad. Uh, yeah. It's very, very bad. I mean, it <clears throat> no. probably isn't playable. I was just reading its full text, and I was like, could you just 15 damage to target? Oh, and then it fights you. Yeah. Ah, okay. And it doesn't reset your life to 15 no. every time. Disappointing. It's very Form of the Dragon-esque, but... Just it, well, it, it's a Form of the Dragon reference. Uh, yes, but just worse than And way. Tender Shoot Dryad... Is great. Is very good if you have the Seize Blessing when you play it. Or you're at nine permanents. Because then you get three threes each turn. And it's a 2 2 for 5. It is a 2 2 for 5. And I'll point out 2 2 for 5 in this set <laughs> is two and a half times the average cost of a 2 2. Yeah. <laughs> 2 2 for 5 is pretty weak. Yes. But very weak. The ability is very strong. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to have to go use the bathroom because I'm trying to play four bottles of water. <laughs> All right. Sure. Already. And we're going live very soon. So I'm gonna go try and get a playlist so we can decide who's coming on stream. Yes, sure thing. Because if gonna... not, I'm just gonna put Matt Briggs on camera and we can laugh at <laughs> Matt's amazing deck building decisions. Matt's amazing deck building decisions. Alongside Matt, who will laugh at his own deck building decisions. Fair enough. Are we getting them in here to, to deck build? Afterwards. So the build on stream the build and on then yeah. we'll talk it over so we can actually go. Ooh, really? Oh. Or hope, you know, because Gareth might be coming. Oh. Wow. So we might put him back on stream and see if he misses opening a pack. <laughs> Journey's new pre-release. Really? Midday, sat down. Oh, God. Opened his packs. Missed Born of the Gods entirely. Fair enough. I'm going to keep chatting through yeah, these. Yeah, go for it, man. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm on my own for a bit, so if you want to talk to me, please do. I'm going to talk about um, Sphinx's Decree, which I think is unplayable garbage. Um, I guess if you're in a white aggressive deck, it'll stop you getting wrathed for a turn. Maybe. But apart from that, it's garbage. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't even draw you a card. I thought I drew you a card. No, that card's bad. Seafloor Oracle, if you are in the Merfolk deck, it could be fine and limited. Maybe as a one or two of in the standard Merfolk deck. But that's just my opinion. Um, Tomb Rubber, I really like. I think that it can get very silly very quickly. It turns all your garbage into more explore targets and you can just keep going if you hit land that kind of thing <coughs> silver clad ferocidons very good name um, I'm not sure how I feel about silver clad ferocidons it's a, it's an 8 mana 8 5 uh, I think it's pretty weak but I have no way of evaluating it really it's, it's a bizarre one to me because it's very it's got a big power but it's got very low toughness um, and the enrage ability is will always make them sacrifice their least important thing. So, who can say? Uh, Wayward Swordtooth, I think, is fantastic. Um, Throwing a 5-5, although it's got a pretty hefty downside, being able to play an extra land a turn will get you to ascend pretty quickly, I think. Um, and 
ramp is great. Uh, there's obviously a lot of stuff in the set that cares about dinosaurs. Uh, and then we've got Temple Ulsor. Uh, I think this is a very good high end, uh, the very good like top end of a fairly aggressive dinosaur based deck because it means your dinosaurs always win in combat. Uh, it's a three four, which is fine. Uh, talking about limited, I don't think it's playable in construction at all. Uh, standard, rather. And we've got Warkite Mara Marauder. Uh, I think this guy is. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, means that your blocker always gets through in standard, uh, in limited even. Uh, you're attacking even. Oh. <coughs> you can get rid of a blocker. So you can either be that uh, flying blocker to get through the damage of this, or be that they're bomb. And it's a pirate, so it wears the pirate knife from mixed land very, very well. Next we've got Vernus Hunger, which is an instant speed, instant speed edict, which is great. And if you have Ascend, or if you've Ascended, uh, they sacrifice half of their permanence, half the creatures, rounded up, which is very, very, very powerful indeed. Uh, I think this is good in Limited, gets rid of a bomb. Uh, I think it's good in Standard, because get rid of a bomb or half of their creatures. Uh, I wouldn't expect to see it anywhere else than that. And then we've got Tilanali's Summoner, which I think is a very, very powerful card. Um, I like it in standard, where it's just a, like a fairly aggressive style deck. Um, you make a bunch of 1-1s, one and then if you have the City's Blessing, you get to keep them, which is great, considering that the 1-1s one you're getting will put you towards the City's Blessing. I think it's good and limited. It is only a one-one for two, but um, I think if you can if you can protect it, you can get a lot of good value out of it. <coughs> and then we've got World Shaper, which I think is fine. Just need to reread it. Uh, I think it is. Oh. I don't think this guy's very good in limited. I think he's for constructed only, and that's if you wanna if you want that kind of effect in your constructed deck. I think there are certain commander decks he's great in, like um, the Gitrog monster, and there's a mono green one that does a similar thing that makes five threes. Um, yeah. <clears throat> then oh, I've got some uncommons. Excellent. These are the ones we're actually going to probably see a lot of today. I've got Blazing Hope, which for some reason doesn't have a picture, but it's one white instant exile a creature if its power is greater than your life total. This card is unplayable. This card is very, 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 very bad. I think it's possibly one of the worst cards in the set. If anyone plays it today, I will be amazed. Um. Oh, what do you think of Blazing Hope? What does it do? One white instant, exile a creature if its power is greater than the old life total. That is a card that says nothing. <laughs> I need to not die. Yeah. Please. What do you think about including it in your limited deck? Probably not. Probably <laughs> don't. So recently, an update on his deck. He's had a great black white uh, vampire's deck. So yep. he's playing Abzan. Nice. Uh, um, so he has some great removal he has Chupacabra, Binding, Impale Divine Verdict, Reaper Ambush, Contract Killing and Hunt the Weak wow. yeah, okay. uh, and a Fathom Fleet Captain which is good with his Legion's <coughs> Landing and his promo was the Ascend Land nice Okay, so I think we should quickly flick through and just pick out notable cards um, I think this guy's Brainstorm on a 2-2 which is fine yeah, why do we have a white bit? Uh, it doesn't want to show blazing, uh, cool. blazing hope. Um, I think this guy's quite good. Yep. It's impossible to tell. I think this thing is bad. I think this thing is great. Yeah, I would agree with all of those assessments. Cool. Uh, next we've got this, which is great. Uh, it has stats, I promise. Yep. Uh, this is good. This is probably fine. Fine, yeah. 
Uh, this is amazing, obviously. Yep. Good removal. I I really like this card. I think it's pretty decent. Um, and this enrage ability is really weird. Yeah. It's not bad, though. It's, it's, it's fine. just not a good card. Yeah. And then we've got five fine cards. Yeah. They're okay. These are all... The the red enchantment's fine. pretty good. Ugh, I can't get it. To... I think that's a decent card. Yeah. The red enchantment's fine. Uh, the dinosaur thing is... Uh... Meh. I think the harpy could be good. But it's... Depends on the deck. It's all right. Yep. And then if we go down, I think these cards are all very good. Uh, We've got a three and a two two that can't be damaged in yes, combat. Yes, that card is decent. Curiosity that gives it plus one plus one and curiosity. Yep. Um, a two and a two two that comes back if you've gained life. Yeah. Which is already an infinite combo and standard both around this. Yep. Um, we've got Reckless Rage, which is the removal spell I was talking about earlier, which is a yep. fantastic removal spell. That's uh, pretty good. And Explore Explore? <laughs> explore Explore is interesting. <laughs> it's just weird. I like Explore Explore. So everyone send Reese good luck. If you yeah, if you're like a Reese. returning viewer, you'll know Reese as Goatman. Say to man. Uh but yeah, the old co host of the stream. Uh, I'm gonna put the heater on because I'm cold. Yeah, I put my jacket on because I was cold. Yeah, I mean, I, like, <laughs> right. I my jacket on. I was More like... on commons. We've got Pride of the Conquerors. This is a two mana instant. Gives all the creatures plus one plus one. If you have the city's blessing, gives them plus two plus two instead. Fine. We've got. Oh, where are the plugs? Yeah, the plugs not around the back. Oh, there's one in here. That's fine. Ah, all right. We've got. Oh, hang on. This is aquatic crazy. incursion. Uh, four mana enchantment gives you two one one blue merfolk with hexproof and for four mana target merfolk is unblockable you're right plugs it up there <laughs> and they're all in use aren't they well I guess we're going to be cold then no you've got to find a place <laughs> right well, you keep doing that I'm going to keep talking about ex use. rivals we've got uh, arterial flow why are the f all four plugs are in use I don't know, but I'm not plug any of them. Oh no, there's two screens, that's fine. No. I've got to find Zero play three mana sorcery. Each opponent discards two cards. If you have a vampire, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. I think this card is bad. Do you want to hover over the thing and see if we could get... Oh, we're getting Kyle on stream. We're doing Kyle, are we? Yeah, because I saw him. He was like, Kyle sure. was good for a while. Um, yeah, I'll throw I think is bad because Mind Rot is bad and... The other effect is also bad, so sticking on one card means you have one bad card. Charging Tuscadon, I think, might be good. So 5 mana 4 4 with Trample. If it would deal damage to a player, it deals double that damage instead. Yeah, that seems good. Um, and then Swift Warden, I think, is fantastic. 3 mana 3 3 with Flash, great stats. And when it enters battlefield, target Murphic is a hex brief until the end of turn. Yeah, that seems decent. So it's a, a good, flashy, flashy threat. Yeah, I can see that. Makes sense. Then we've got uh, Journey to Dinosaur, Dinosaur to Nowhere. Dinosaur to Nowhere. Dinosaur to Nowhere. <laughs> like that. Whatever you want to call it. Baffling End is also just a fantastic name for the card. Baffling End. Baffling End. Baffling End. It's, it's the, the name of the card is Baffling End. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a fantastic removal good. spell. It's um, a good name. So what it's a uh, two mana enchantment and it's a battlefield. It journeys to Nowhere, a creature with CMC three or less. Uh, and then when it leaves the battlefield, they get a 3-3 dinosaur. So they don't get the creature back at any point. And yeah. they get a crappy dinosaur, which is almost always going to be worse than the creature you exiled with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Then we've got a card that I'm actually really excited about. It's Flood to Recollection. Recollection? It's the... Bleh, flood to Recollection. This is the cheapest they've ever printed this effect. Okay. It's blue-blue, sorcery. Return an instant of sorcery from a graveyard to your hand. Exile Flood to Recollection. Flood of Recollection. Not bad. Not bad. This is the... The cheapest they've ever printed this effect. So I think what they're doing... Well, I've talked to Joe about this, and he reckons what they're doing is testing how low mana-wise they can print this effect and it not be horrendously broken. That would make sense. <clears throat> so I reckon at, at one blue, I think this would probably be absurdly broken, right? Yeah, that's a broken at, effect. At right? instant speed, this would be broken. Yes. <clears throat> so okay, so they're slowly going to restrict its yeah. casting time. That's fine. That makes a lot Well, like, this is the best version of this card they've ever printed. This is not a sponsorship deal. <laughs> they can't even Although, see it. It's hidden behind this. If Derry would like to get in touch. 
We are well up for it. I am. I am all in <coughs> on that because I love Darren E. Duncan. Because George is a child. I mean, have, they're enjoyable. They're enjoyable. We have Golden Demise, which is an infest. Yeah, infest. yeah, infest. And then if you have the city's blessing, only they infest, which is <laughs> you just fine. infest them. Infest them. Um, we got Stormfleet Swashbuckler. <laughs> It's a fantastic name and also a fantastic card. So. This set, okay, these <coughs> the last set in Ixlan itself have had really, really, really good names. Oh, but like, you're not ready for Hornswoggle. <laughs> I, I'm fully ready for Hornswoggle. I like Chupacabra. Chupacabra is just great, isn't it? <laughs> I like um, the, the word Chupacabra. Yeah. So watch Bugler, this, is the, this card is a fantastic card. Uh, too many Chupi Pirate if you had to sit his blessing hands double strike. Good, yeah, that's very good. Good. And then, um, is it a two mana two two? Hey, do as you do. You know what's better than two mana two two? A three mana three four. <laughs> Do you know, yeah, because it stops two twos. Yeah. Um, also, like, what were they thinking when they printed this card? It just has absurd stats, and they just stapled Kazali Prime Mage onto it for no reason. Yeah, but they also sacrificed. They also put the word "you have to sacrifice" it on it. Yeah, but that's what Kazali Prime Mage does. Yeah, but Prime Mage is just a two mana two two. <laughs> yeah, but like, this is just a really aggressive creature. No, you probably don't want to sacrifice. <clears throat> no, you don't want to sacrifice it, but like, it's still good. Okay. Oh, Found point out. Paladin. Hornswoggle is a wrestler as well. Is it really? He's an uh, he's a midget leprechaun wrestler. Bloody hell. Hey, there we, we have Kyle. Shall we go to overlay? Well, we're, board, no overlay. We're going to abandon this and go to Kyle. Hey, we're still there. Yeah. Can uh, we zoom into what Kyle's doing? You can't zoom in. <laughs> mm, zoom in okay. and So, what we're going to have to do is guess. We're going to watch, we're going to comment. It's going to be mostly based on colour uh, and seeing where he goes with it. And then we're going to bring him in and, and go over properly. And throw abuse at him. Yeah. Whilst eating Darily Dunkers. Whilst eating Darily Dunkers. I'm not eating Darily Dunkers. This is breakfast. You can have a packet for me. I think I will. Still some good Darily Dunkers. Yeah, I know. They're on offer on Tesco's this morning. Oh, fair enough. So, good looking box. I'm getting jealous. Not gonna lie, packaging's good. Box is good, solid box. Um, we have. Is that the stupid dinosaur? No, it's not. That, no, that's the dinosaur that prevents all but one damage that's dealt to your dinosaurs. Oh, I need some dinosaurs. It's up here. Uh, it is called Temple Ultrasaur. It's a former uh, 5 mana 3 4. <laughs> that's the Blazing Hope thing, it's still amusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what does this card do? <laughs> Wizards still haven't released it. Uh, Dragon Skull Summit! Hey. Kyle's opted to start with Exelan. I mean, yeah, you start with the set you know, right? Yeah. So he's got an unplayable red card. That's a Crash the Ramparts. That's a one with the wind, which is fantastic. Bishop's thingy is good. The lamp, the, 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 the vampire's good. No, two mana, two, two, lifelinker. Yeah, yeah, the bishop's thingy. It's a bear! Uh, he also got a scuttling whatever. It's a one mana, one, two, player black gives a death touch. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a great card. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's the... That's a good white card. I don't think it is. Oh, Wakeland's Binding is a very good white card. Mm. I the think they're all fine. good white cards, because they're 2-2s, two right? I <laughs> know, oh, that one's a 1-3. One oh, that's even better. It blocks a 2-2. Two two. Basically, uh, okay, so my theory for the set is 3 toughness. If you can play 3 toughness dot deck, you're fine. <laughs> Alright, so now we get to test our rivals of Excellent Knowledge. Foil, foil Forest. Island. That's another one. Hey! That's alright. The white, his white is deep. His black is deep. His green's looking fine. That is a black creature has got death touch. Okay. Yeah. The real question though is how deep is your love? So the my colour cards is Dado Brawler. It's a four mana two four with death touch. We can do a screen cap. Yep. It does this. And look at this. I'm gonna put it on screen right on the other side of the plane. Mm, 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 mm. His ref for this pack was. Mm, mm, mm. Bonus angle. Oh, baby. That's a good card. Yeah. His white in and black and green are looking deep. His red yeah. looking bad. Red's looking bad. Blue's looking... Shallow. Fine. 
Oh, it's, oh, it's a very good blue card. It's right next to the one we were just it's on. It's this thing. Yeah. It's uh, really good. What's the... um? Oh, there's actually a, the blue and chamber does this as well. I was going to say it's that, but... Yeah. It turns the thing into a naught one. It's a two mana, two power guy with evasion. Again, yep. definitive of the four. This is also uh, is a common here, which is a two mana, two one. It has flying when it's attacking. Yeah. Which is just... I think his white black is probably going to be where he invests first. Yeah, I'd go for that first. Yeah. Oh, it's unplayable. He should be doing this. This is Sphinx's Decree. It's bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's, it's not good. Oh, it's bad. That's a five mana three through flying and hexproof. I, I will say it's got good flavour text. Be still. <laughs> um... Yeah. Looking like Carl's doing some... Now, has he opened all his packs? Yes. Yes, he's opened all his packs. What would you do with this? I'd investigate my white and then try to pair it with black or green. And then if that doesn't work, I'd try pairing black and green together. Yeah. They're the colours that I instantly have the deepest in. But, I mean, I'm not the one building the deck, so it may just be he doesn't have enough creatures. But, yeah, so he's looking at his green. Uh, so that's a 4 minus 2 that reduces the cost of dinosaurs by 2. I'll also, say that, I'll also say that they are the best colours for combat tricks. And I think combat tricks are super important in this format. Yeah. So they have the best combat tricks normally. So I'd look there and investigate that. I think Carl's green is really good. I'd also possibly look at the red, because the red got quite deep towards the end of the packs. Yeah. That's a 4 on of the Empire. It's a good card. That's a... Th well, no, 4 on of the Empire is good in the fact that it has 3 toughness. Does it? No, the red one's the one three. Yes, it is. Yeah, I noticed it. It's the highest stuff. Okay. And I mean, if you notice it's green, and I got a few dinosaurs. Yeah. And this might be a big one. Now it's looking at his black. I think his black is the weakest, right? Mm. Quite possibly. I think his blue is the weakest overall. But, yeah, but I he's didn't got like... a very good blue rare. Yeah, but I didn't like blue in Ixran. Yeah, but... If you look, he's got... Of what I can see, he's got the very good blue rare. He's got... Mm. That's a Siren... I think it's like, okay. it's the 3 mana 1, 2 with Explore. Yeah. It's a 3 mana 2, 3 flyer, which is great. Generally, yeah. Like, he's only limited, nearly half your deck is land. Sure. And that's where I had issues <coughs> with exploring x mm. He's also got a one with the wind, which is a very good blue spell. <laughs> yeah. So I, hey, He's done what you've done. He's gone straight into black white. Yeah. Second, that's, that would be, that would be my first instinct, because you've got a lot of decent creatures, yeah. high, co like, high quality removal plus combat tricks. Yeah. That gives you a lot of sort of boosting around. Yeah, that. so so far he's taken out. Oh god, this is a <laughs> so far he's brought up two minutes three three that can't untap unless you gain life. This is a kill the uh, destroy target attack on a blocking creature. Yeah. This is pacifism for this arrest. Pacif uh, arrest pacifism effect great in the formats. Yeah, they've never had an issue. No. Uh, then we've got this is a that's a the rare white common that he's looking at right now. What's that rare do? Uh, so this is Temple Altasaur. That's the, the, the crew you just opened. Don't it bring does. Oh, it does this. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. That is a fine, uh, the top end of your card blocking yeah. effectively decent attack. Which creatures. he now has two of. Yeah, you can't play the primary though, can you? Yeah. You can? Yeah. I don't play pre-release. <laughs> so my question's based around what you can and cannot play fully justified. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one with the wind is very good blue. Yeah, um, Siren's ruse is also probably good if he's heavy pirates. He does, he does have a blue black pirate, so you might mm. be looking at that. I mean, he could end up playing three colours, but I don't think that's correct. No, with this pool, I think I would definitely be looking towards green because his green is very good. Yeah, his green is also very deep. Yeah, that's a merfolk har um, harbinger forerunner. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a 2 mana 2 1 that can't be blocked. 
protect by creatures with power greater than it. It's got a one mana one. Yeah, it's the the the, the devil protector. The devil protector. Yeah, it's, that's a one mana one one that puts a counter on another merfolk when it enters the battlefield. He's got the two mana two two that gets plus one plus one if it's attacking. Yeah, that's a really good card. Yeah. Um, what else did he have? He had. Well, we'll get to see because we'll get a better idea as he slowly builds his deck and sees what's yeah. going on. This that's the most enjoyable bit of Daily Dunker is the leftover cheese at the end of it. Like, mm. Jesus, I do like a good donker. No, he's looking at red. I think he, maybe he's going okay. My my, the white paired with another color might be shallow. Like he might be sort of pushing for yeah. purples. So he might be like, okay, so I could drop these like six cards, play three color, or maybe splash for these effects. Yeah. And if you're splashing, I think green's the best splash color. Yeah, green. His green is very good. He's also got an evolving world. Yeah, but there's just so many decent combat tricks in the format, and that's what I think is going to. And he's got a good one. He's got crashed ramparts, which is yeah. a very good one. So. Which he's not taken out. He's also not taken out the two mana two two D that gets plus one plus one when it attacks. Yeah. Uh, he's gone for dinosaurs. He's looking at all just dinosaur stuff. Oh, okay, that's cool. So I mean, that could make sense if he's got several guys who prevent damage on dinosaurs. They they yeah. are on board tricks. Yeah, so he's also got... He's <laughs> scrubbing around, it's like... <laughs> he's also got one of these guys. I like that guy. It says Regisaur. It does. It's also a 4 mana 4 4 that pings the thing when it attacks. Yeah, 4 mana 4 4s. Good card. 4 mana 4s are great. This is probably going to go into the Dino Ponza deck. Not kidding, there's a Dino what? Ponza deck. Okay. Well, Regisaur Alpha. Yeah, and probably this, and... Why this? Uh, because it's a decently statted guy you can play on turn two. <laughs> yeah. I was playing turn two Huntmaster of the Fells last night. That was pretty good. Huntmaster of the Fells is just better than this, though. Yeah, but Dino Ponza doesn't play that. <laughs> no, but it's not a Dino. you prefer Ripto Raptor? You play both. I don't think you understand this, Alex. If you can skip turn two and three, <laughs> you can play multiple four drops. <laughs> I guess. I did it in Kyle's. Like, all right, I'll path your hunts master. Go. And I said, like, "Cool, I'm gonna kill you one man." <laughs> he spent a lot of time with two Amazon spell rooms. Nice. And no paths in his hand. And this die cast paths because I played storm Nice. Um, also, the <clears throat> art on this is quite amusing because I think that's a monkey running away from it, or a leopard. It looks like it, doesn't it? It's a very small animal. I think it's a monkey, and it's just like I don't care. There's a tree in my way. The tree is no longer there. <laughs> the tree isn't in my way. What I'm tree? in the way of the tree. <laughs> He's investigating black and laying it out. He's laying out black. So I will point out, Kyle is using this as a practice for a GP. He's got rid of black. Uh, yeah. And, and red, blue. Blue and most of red? Jund. He's gotten rid of everything. Jund. No, okay, here we go. He's picked up Jund. Okay, Jund is fine. I mean, I'm amazed he's not playing white. So we've got two mana two, and when it dies, you can cast vampire, uh, dinosaurs with flash. You've got ranging raptor, enraged uh, yep. rampant growth. We've got uh, four mana two two that decreases the cost of dinosaurs That's by shock, two. Right? Uh, no, that is it's a red common. It's oh, shock's not in this format. Is no, it? uh, it's there. They're down. Yeah, it's this one. Mutiny. Mutiny. Good name. Mutiny. Good name. Bad effect. That's not terrible. I'm not a fan of it. He's that guy fights that guy. That. If it was an instant, it'd be great. Uh, this is a 4 mana 2 that gives a creature plus 3 plus 3 when it enters the battlefield. That's a good card. If that's what it does, that is a very good card. So this is heavy four on the... 4 mana 3 3 that gives a plus 2 I feel three. like he's going to be at a disadvantage because he's playing 3 drops, not 2 drops. Yes. And that means that you're going to be behind for a lot of the game. Yeah. I think Kyle is gearing his pool heavily towards Grim Captain's Call, which you can see here. Yep. Um, which is a three mana sorcery that returns a vampire pirate. A vampire pirate. Vampire pirate. Be... A vampire pirate dinosaur or merfolk from your okay. your hand. I thought or... it had to be a vampire pirate. No, it can. It returns one of each of them, so it can be returned four things to your hand. That's pretty easy. So it's kind of like an all suns it's... dawn for creature types. Yeah. But you I'm to going to reference ones. cards I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so he has eventually included all of the two drops. I think all his two drops are great. Good. So we've got... They're this nearly... Is a, this is Gatecrash with dinosaurs. Yeah. 
So we've got. I'll go through his two drops. This is a two mana one one when it enters the battlefield. You lose life and draw a card. Good card. It's two mana two two. Just yep. a bear. This is a two mana two two when it gets a, when it attacks. You get plus one plus one. Great this card. This is a two mana two two. If it's your turn, it gets plus o plus two. Yeah, it's the two mana pillar field ox that makes it playable. Yes. So it's a as a and it's an attacking. It attacks great because it it's not gonna two, die. Four. Yeah, I like it. Here he is. I like how, okay, so I like how it's a human that gets four toughness, which just means it's just like put in some proper, like, core strength work. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, um, I'm pretty sure you should be investigating your white mate, not your red. So, this is another thing that he has? Yeah, I like this card. It looks like it's a card from Lorwyn with the colours. It does, doesn't it? It's like... <laughs> you can see it here in his maybe include bit. Yeah, it's like the so most his, identified. His maybe include bit here is that. Sitting here. That goes in. That goes in. This is the one one that gives a creature uh, that puts a plus one plus a counter on a merfolk. That's a good one. Another merfolk, so it can't be a one one or two two. This is naturalized. Yeah, that's not going main deck unless you play two of the giant. No. And, and then, then everyone should include one. At least one. And then we've got Crash the Ramparts. Yeah. So he's looking at this is actually just a three mana. I want to know what his white was. Where he didn't play it. Like because surely that would have been better. He may not have had any tricks. Yeah. Which feels bad. So what he's auto included here is this. So I think this is fine because it trades with like the two threes. This trade was this trades with every two drop in the entire set. But as we said, the two drops are nearly all good. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to like I don't want to be included no, but, three uh, drops yeah, to trade the, with two drops. The interesting thing is this card does have some upside being dinosaurs. Like, depending on what he's got. Yeah. Like this is the thing, this card would be great if you were playing the altar saw that remo the temple altar saw. Yeah. But then, then this actually becomes an issue for you. Okay, opinion. sure. Which he isn't. No, but I, I don't mind cards like this. I would, you know, I like playing the aggressive deck and topping out at three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think this does make sense. <clears throat> Where you just want a guy who says dinosaur who has a high power, and then maybe you use a trick to keep it alive. Like if he got the C red that gives it first strike, the card yeah. becomes absurd because it becomes a six three. So what do you think of? Canal monitor. Terrible. Terrible. It's in yeah, I can see it. Right that's, that's bad. But he also, I think, has too many cards right now. Way too many. Yeah. He's also got two six drops. Yeah, which is bad. Yep. This feels a lot like Cow Dash to me, where you wanted to play as aggressive as possible. Yeah. You just want to turn so, guys sideways every single time. The six drop, we've got this vampire. I think it's like a five and a four with flying. And you can tap three vampires to return it to either your hand or the battlefield. From the that graveyard. seems really bad. Uh, it's not good, in the, not good in this, definitely, because it doesn't have enough vampires. Uh, and then the other one is uh, the 6 mana 6 6 of the trample. So what's going to happen is Kyle is going to come through and we're going to critique this deck and he'll change it. We're going to aggressively critique this deck. <laughs> oh, and then he'll change it because it's a pre-release. <laughs> Aggressive critique. Um, so this pirate down here I really like. It's a 1 mana 1 one that gets plus 1 plus 0 if it's attacking. Yeah, I like that card. Again. It trades all the 2 drops. Yeah, it is 2 drops, but 2 power is more than twice as effective as 1 power. Yeah. Because <clears> if you chip in for 3, which is different to 4, hugely. Because it becomes a difference of six versus eight yep. over two turns, which is much, which is more than doubled. Yeah. So this is a very hard. This is a very hard pull. I'm confused why he's going three colors for three red cards. Yeah. And one of them is bears like half passable, which is mutiny. Mutiny. And the other two seems. So, mm. what were they? This is this is a four mana two two with explore and haste. That's bad. Uh, which is actually fine. It's a pirate. We, he has no synergy with Pirate. A good Grim Captain's Call, that's it. Yeah. And then I don't know what that is. I would be really hesitant about playing three red cards in a format. Like, Reese's uh, Abzan deck is splashing for like three impactful green cards and a couple of other green cards. So he's got some removal. He's got the guy who animates a land. Yeah. Like, these are impactful cards. He's not playing them because they're reasonable. Charging Trascodon, no. No, I don't know if you're going to identify it from the top half of the card, because it might I don't know, be I think from it, I feel like it might be Stumpy Eating Horncrest. Which is the... It's not very good. Which is... It's passable. Not worth being in red for. No. None of these cards are worth going into red for. What do we think, chat? Yeah, I think you're right. I think you can. You yeah, can it's got curve. the blue bit in the top left. Yeah. Okay. You can move it off his deck now. <laughs> so... Yeah. If it's... you're Kyle. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, immediately my plate level just dropped like 90%. Um, so 
me in this scenario, like the first thing that I saw when I looked at this pool was Is that, that cobbled wings or like kite sails? That's cobbled wings. Cool. Cobbled wings would be playable in this deck. Cobbled wings is actually fantastic in Jump this deck. Jump your guy. It's great in the dinosaur deck. It was even better in Innistrad when you put it on, <clears throat> uh, what was the guy's name who had the uh, rage thrower? You know, yes. the guy with the things? Because yeah, yeah, he yeah. became Hank Scorpio from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> so he um, could fly and shoot yeah. flame from his wrists. Sure. Um, but that so, card's great. Yeah. My initial reaction when looking at Kyle's pool was to play Saltai. Yeah? I can see that. Or I would play either Saltai or White Green X. White green. I could see Bant. Yeah. Because I played I played the Bant deck in my... Pre- like, I yeah. actually Sol- played Sol- a pre-release Sol- in the last one. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the last one. And it was really good. Yeah, yeah. I think he needs... It's a, I think he needed to have gone... Part of me thinks he's going red because he has a Dragon Skull Summit. And he's like, I've got fixing. Yeah, I really hope that isn't the case, but I think it probably is. Yeah, I feel like it is. Yeah. And people who do that deserve to be flayed. <laughs> deserve to just not have skin. Yeah. Yeah, so Salto, I reckon, because... Yeah, I mean, his blue, I don't think, has been removed entirely. Because if you look on the bottom left side... It's just sort of there. Yeah. I mean, um, Kyle is now just staring at his deck, hoping people uh, will tell him what to do. Yeah. Uh, and I find that when you're doing that, you've built the wrong deck. Yeah. So, I'm from also this position... From nearly every time I've watched Kyle play sealed, he's built the wrong deck in the first match, and then rebuilt it and found the right deck. Okay, so he's taken out one of his good cards. He's, yeah, that's interesting. So, in Kyle's position now, what I do is... I remove put that, the I red. put that back in. Remove the red. Remove both of his six drops. Yeah. Remove this five drop. Add in... Add in... Which gives you, what, uh, one, two, three... Four, uh, five, six spaces. Well, I don't, I don't know if this is a completed deck either. No, but it would give you six spaces I'd based on what you got right now. Put in that. Put, put in, in the, both the, the two drops that he's just put yeah. down. The crash the ramparts. This the blue black pirate thing. And then the jump. Then the two one that jumps a guy. The two one the jumps a <clears> guy. <throat> oh no! It's just the two, the two one, one that makes the thing a nought. Yeah, that's the, the one. The fly that makes the thing a nought one. And the, then the, the two one that only has flying when he's attacking. Yeah. The this thing the the three mana two three is flying. <laughs> Smash him game one. He had a second deck, so I've talked to my other deck for fun. The vampire deck is brutal. Hilarious. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think... I think that's good. I also think being white might also be correct. Like, if you put white instead of black and be banned, yeah. which is what you said. Because um, that gives you... The, he's got a 1 minute 2 one yep. that has flying if you have City's Blessing. Which is a very good card. He's so got this both of his five mana dinosaur guys. This feels like he's gone in with an idea of what he wants. Um, so you remember the Modern Masters event we played in Birmingham where yes. Jeremy dropped in deck building? Yes. Because he was like, I don't have a good deck. And then I looked at his deck and hate him because he had a better deck than I did. Yeah. And I 3 one Yeah. Or I 3 one one Yeah. So I was like, you could have built this. And I would have struggled to make cuts. So I would have played like a 48 card deck for him. Yeah. I was like, your deck is too good. And he was like, oh, I didn't see it. Because he went in with an idea of what he wanted and he couldn't build a control deck. Whereas what it looks like Kyle has done is gone, these colours are what I've been told are the strongest by the internet. So I'm going to play those. Kyle I will is, say Kyle is very easily convinced. Very easily convinced by the internet. Has LSV said this is the best colour combination? I don't know. I wouldn't have known. I don't know. I don't, I don't read that. I don't read, I don't read magic content anymore. No. So he's not even bothering with his, with his thing. Oh, Kyle, right. I'm going to flay you. Take that out. That's bad. Oh my god, Kyle, are you actually trying to find space for something? Oh god. I don't know. I'm asking. We don't know. If, I'm asking if somebody has said that. Yeah. Because Kyle would immediately follow that. We're making an assumption based on Kyle's actions. Based on actually, yeah, things we know oh, of. Kyle. Hang on, he's picked up white again. Oh, he's got Enixland's binding. Why is he not playing white? <laughs> Just play ban, you idiot. <laughs> Guys, white is so good. His blue is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you picked two of your worst colours? Ah. The only way this could be more frustrating if you started removing the green cards and started adding red cards. <laughs> It'd be like, you're enjoying the best cards you have. This is why I haven't lost a Kyle in Sealed. Because <laughs> he built the wrong thing. Because I play him in round one every time. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't kill a Vaya Pashara when I played on turn one. He had the wow. to Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what Reese has got. Reese has got a ton of decent stuff. I mean, Reese is 1 0 for all old viewers of the stream. Kyle's got. He's got the Luminous Bonds, which is the 
the pacifism esque effect in this set. And he's got this thing as well, yeah, which is just fine. And he's got excellent binding. And he's got excellent binding. This is why you're not going to day two the GP. <laughs> Like, he's using this as practice for a Grand Prix, so he's going to learn that he didn't yeah. build deck correctly. I was going to use this for a Grand Prix, but yeah. streaming it might be more useful. Yeah, because you get to see more overall. Yeah, I get to see more more decks overall. I don't get the, the experience. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> Apologies, headphone users. Apologies. <laughs> What is How he? are you laying your deck out? <laughs> what is he doing? What is this? So these are my half playable Colours. Cards. He's working out land. He's finalised. This is the deck he's building. I'm going to kill him. Single colour. Yeah, okay. This is interesting. Yeah. Um, but no, we, we may end up streaming some sealed from my house as well. God damn. Me and Alex. So I'm sure my ability at sealed is fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's better than Kyle's. Yeah, I mean, I can at least build it. I can't play it. And I wouldn't be playing it. Well, you you built... There was a time when you built a deck and you lost the first game. And, and then, then you and, and Will, Will played it. And, we, and I was just yeah. vaping. <laughs> like wandering just, around the house doing other stuff. Yeah. We won the first one. Oh, did you? Really? We were just okay. playing your seal deck. Uh, my good. draft deck, yeah. Your draft deck. My draft deck. <laughs> it's green... You draft green-blue my It was good. Yeah, I got green-blue things. Green blue creatures. There was another green blue drafter in that definitely because yeah. barely anything was wheeling. So yeah. I was getting like second hand blue. Uh, it's not not ideal. <laughs> Carl <either>. Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, it's an idiot seal deck. <laughs> he's playing the Regisaur. At least he's playing that. But he shouldn't be in red. No. So it's warming up now. Yeah, it is. he is on. He is in a precarious position. He's gone. He's gone. He's going to go get lands, and then we're going to force him to get more lands. Ah, oh, Kyle. This is where we need Reese on Skype. Just have him yeah. shouting at people. Yeah, we when Gareth was building his deck of the Journey into Next Pre release, we, we were a lot of shouting. Yeah. But we had to be quiet shouting because it was just through the door. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> so it was like uh, Gareth came through and we were like, so. Right. Well, while Kyle gets his land sorted out, I'm going to nip to the loot. And then cool. On my yeah, way, if you want to grab the, him on the way, way back. back. I'll grab him, yeah. Well, you can just shout at him to come in here because he can add lands whilst he's in here. Oh, you want me to bring him in now? Yeah, just tell him to come in, because if he wants to sleeve, he can sleeve while we go over the deck. Yeah. Actually, Alex? Yeah? Bring him back when you come back? Yeah, yeah. So, what is this? I don't, I don't know, sir. So... How does how does everyone think of Carl's deck right now? Before before he comes in, hit me up in the chat. Let me know. Let me know what you think. He's looking through it again. Um, there may be. He's going to come through in a second, so we'll definitely check that. Um, if there's the Pyromancer in there. But I'm pretty sure he's got the Warkite Marauder. Yeah, he's got Warkite Marauder. But I don't know if he's got the Pyromancer. So we'll have to check that bit. Um, just trying to see if I recognise the arts. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, we'll definitely check that. Um, and see if he's got that combo. But we will bring Kyle through. I'm just going to get around next track. So, yeah, we have opinions. we have opinions. You have a lot of questions. Please, before we say anything, defend yep. defend your deck. Trust. Yes, defend your deck and the way you've built it. It's 
It didn't really pull me in any one direction, particularly. Yes, it did. Yes, it you really did. Yes. Entirely. And are you playing red because you opened Dragon Skull Summit? No. Okay, because that's what it looks like, because red is not good enough. No, but red is bad. You opened... You opened... Well, you said all your rares were bad. The, you opened one good rare, and it was blue. Yeah, no, I did. And you should be playing green. Definitely yeah. green. White, blue. Probably white and blue. Not think? red, black. No, your red, black is not strong enough in comparison. So we're going to go... Oh, we can run back to the booth now. <laughs> so, yeah. Because you've got some of the great blue two... This this format's definable by two drops. So you've got some really solid blue two drops. Yeah. Some good white stuff. And yeah. you've got a lot of good green. So you've got... If we run... If we, can I grab this? Can yeah. I grab this? Yeah. So, so while you're do, while we're doing that, I want to have a quick actual look through this. Did you also open a Stormfleet Pyromancer? Yes. So you have the Warkite Marauder Stormfleet Pyromancer. The Because yeah, this guy's like, you, there's a combo. You make a thing a zero one, and then you do it through damage, presumably. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like some of the stuff you're playing, like this, isn't good enough. Uh, Especially because you don't have any. Be like you, you don't. Yeah, but it's a six drop. Yeah, that's true. And then you like, you cut the, like you also opened the two one that can't be blocked up by creatures with power two or less. Which means it's... Oh, I put them in the deck, didn't I? Yeah. Eventually you did, but you were just sat <laughs> no, there he's, not... He's oh no, you, what, you aren't not playing. in the deck? Oh, he's no, not in the deck. No, you're playing a load of rubbish. <laughs> Why is he not in the deck? Let me look at the deck. Okay, just cut your... Yeah, all right, so... Hang so, on. so here wow. comes... Here we go. Here we go. Correcting Here we decks. go, correcting the deck. I so, uh, like it, is this... I found in Kyle's in, trash pile, I have found... This two mana two one that can't be blocked up a creature. Good card. This two mana two four when it's attacking. This cobbled wings, which could be fine. Cobbled wings is so good. This crash the ramparts, which is great because remove yeah. because things. Combo tropes. This sirens ruse, which could be fine. Yeah, that's probably better. This walk up marauder, which is great. It's a fantastic card. Oh yeah, it's a good card. I played it last night. It's, um, it's this insane. Dead eye rig thingy, which is that's rage also bounty good. creature. Yeah, yeah, that's a great card. Uh, Siren account, which good is two mana two three fine. Um, and that's as far as I've got to so far. Oh, and then yeah. If we go, if we're assuming we're in white, we have a two mana two on with flying. Great card. We have probably not this. No, probably not this. No, no. I mean definitely. This not good this. options. This, this is a good card. This. It's a bear. This is a bear with vigilance. That's cleansing ray. Yeah. This is probably fine. Yeah, that's actually a decent card. Um. It's, the thing is, there's a lot of two power guys. So what three toughness is probably the I most guess, important factor. Yeah. This is only good if you have lots of other dinosaurs, but you do have two of them. And they <laughs> are pretty good. They are You know that 4-2 you you're playing that's a dinosaur? Yeah. Who trades with all of the, the two mana guys? Yeah, he's pretty good. This you... doesn't trade with the two mana guys now? Yeah. I think they're playable. So, if we're in blue, we've got one with the wind, which Great is fantastic. Wind, yeah. We have this, this looter, dude. which is fine. And is a two power two drop. This two three with unblockable for I've three. Great which card. Is two fine. We're not playing this. Also, we're like, two mana two we're playing flying, sealed. I think it's, it's going to be a bit slower. No, it's not. Sealex, it's going to be super aggressive because there's so slow. many two drops. It was sort of slow last Look time. at how many two drops you've opened. No, because no, Rivals is four packs and it's mostly two drops. There's two drops at all rarities that are good. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's so it's much. Gonna, it's going to be much faster. You can get up to it. Yeah, definitely this is a good card. Sealex is a good card. It's good removal. Don't play it because it says pirate. Play it because of the other bit. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Maybe, no. but probably not. Uh, uh, so three minutes, three two with flying. Yeah, it's fine. Probably. Yeah, play the Bishop one. Soldier. Great. Yeah. Exxon's Binding. Great. Vampires. Fine. Mm, Shining Altar Sword. Reasonable. Shining Altar Sword is reasonable. Yeah. Nope. This thing. Great. Yeah. Pacifism. Great. Right. This thing. <laughs> fine. Oh yeah. You actually might just play blue white. <laughs> Divine Verdict. Great. Famish Paladin. Fine. Yeah, like these these are above <laughs> what you already have. Yeah, but that's you remember too, that's how you easy. keep saying you misbuild your decks round one. <laughs> Just build this deck. I was gonna say it's as we're pointing better. out the cards that Carl should be playing, he is actively sleeving his terrible jump thing. Yeah, you're you're playing how many red cards? What like four, five? Yeah, why are you playing is any one red of them mutiny? Yes, it's not good. <laughs> mutiny is fine. Mutiny is fine. Is fine is not. Good practice for a GP. Yeah, I mean, come on, Kyle. If you're practicing for a GP, build the best deck. Yeah, but there's... 
Maybe there's some merit to trying out the cards that are bad. No, there's no Let's merit to it. Mutiny is. Part, I want to see how good Mutiny is. Read the card. I know it kills the second best creature. No, it's not a good card because there's. It's gonna be an aggressive format. I drop that. Your removal should be I don't think much it's better. It's aggressive, especially in sealed. It will be. So we've there's got... so many two power guys for two mana. Kyle sealed deck. We have raging Registrar, which yeah, is a good That's card. a good card. Four under the Empire, which is a good yeah. card. Uh, you can find his Registrar. Yeah. Mutiny, no. which is a bad removal spell. Stompy Paramonso, which is a bad removal. Hey, I was right. Yeah. This, this is bad. It is bad. This, which is decent. Fine. Re this Four under the Herald, bad. which is Reasonably. fine. Yeah. Jade Artisan, which is that's good. all right. Yeah. But see, this is. I figured this is basically like a pump spell. Yeah. yeah. Stampede. And I can go find it. That's There's terrible. A lot of this is good on its own. You don't need to play to this. Do. That race. That's not the only reason. <laughs> Don't bother by saying they're wrong, also have to fund that game one sideboard into the good aggro. <laughs> no, that's only because Reese is doing that. Yeah. But Reese's three color deck is also nearly as good as his aggro deck, yeah. so it's kind so of different. So we've got Knight of the Stampede, which is the reason for playing the low, high curve dinosaurs. Yeah. But this card is bad. Yes. Um, that's actually just Pitter Field Lock. Frillback, which is bad. Bad. Bad outside of using the two Altasaurs. <sighs> this trades with every two drop in the format. Raging Raptors, which is great. I guess. So you're trading yeah. three mana for two mana. So you're behind. It trades up. It doesn't uh, trade. It, it doesn't know. It only trades up if you're not attacking with it. So you're not attacking with your four two. I reckon I'll get the game with it. Get in That's with it. Nice. They block with yeah. their two one, and you're like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So we've got raging raptors, the which is a very good creature. The format seems slower. Last night, deep root warrior, which is a very good creature. Yeah, but there were also like six of you last night. The deck you build first is very bad. Three color rubbish. Okay, cool. Like <laughs> this, this, this is just terrible comparatively. Yeah. Like um, there's so many good white good. green, white blue good. cards here. Also, I need to talk to you about Canal Monitor. Yeah, this card is this just card is bad. Terrible. This is a vanilla creature. Yeah. We've got Voracious Vampire with about two other vampires in the deck. This, this, these cards. Vanquish the Reach, which is very strong. Tg Venice is fine. Vona's Hunger, which is very strong. Well, yeah. Yeah, no. Some of these cards are good, I and mean, we're not saying they're all bad. This, this we're is saying you have a better deck, which is fine. Grim Captain's Call, cool, which is the only reason you're playing Jun. Queen's Bay Soldier, which is bad. It's, it's definitely not. Yeah. This is good. No, the only reason I'm playing this is Green's a good card. How is Queen's Bay Soldier bad, but the white two two bear is because the bear vigilance. has vigilance. <laughs> this is a vanilla creature. That was the one that had vigilance. Yeah. That's We've the one we were talking Death's about. Death's Entrance was the unplayable thing. Yeah, just, you terrible. you have a five have man of five three vanilla creature. Not to murder. Yeah, and land. Yeah, but there is no murder. So, like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with not murder. It's sorcery for four color murder. Woo. It's no, we're not saying it's bad. We're saying it's the best you've got. Reese is mocking your not attacking with my four two strategy. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to be attacking with the four two. And you, you attack these two. You How? attack. You have no it trades combat. off. You have no combat tricks, Carl. So hang on. It so if we were you doing actually this. have no combat tricks. All your removal is sorcery oh, speed, and you have no combat tricks. <laughs> so terrible. Good. We'd probably be cutting that as well. Probably cut that. That one. That one. That one. That yeah. one. That one. That one. That's land. Yeah. Cool. So let's have a look at white blue. Let's then. Look at we just want to wow. see what it would look like, and yeah. So we've got I'm gonna play this deck in game one and Mac sideboard and afterwards into I'm band and stay win band. so well. And you boys can be in your words. No, we probably won't, Kyle, because everyone who's built their deck on stream has lost round one. That's not true. The first stream I built my deck on, I won round one. How do you do in the rest of the Beat event? Max, remember? Yeah, how do you do in the rest okay. of the event? Uh, like two one. Anyway. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess there is a two off of one there, yeah. The fact that you're at 25 right now is kind of a great <laughs> indication. Uh, yes. Also, there's actually a fair amount of guys that do have ETB triggers in the set. So. Thanks, Race. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Reese has summed it up perfectly. Some people play to win. Kyle is clearly an enabler. He enables fun for his opponent by letting them win. Nice. 
Reese's previously co-host. He has a lot yeah. of experience with watching Gareth fail to open packs at Prudence. Okay, so this is the 16 land, the 40 card deck yeah. that we just built. We have this one. Mana one mana two one. Sea legs. Jade bearer. Hurry on the guard. Hardy veteran. This. Such Ship Reduka. Famish Paladin. Bishop Soldier. One with the Wind. Kite Cell Corsair. Deep Root Warrior. Stalker. Crash the Ramparts. Siren Lookout. Luminous Bonds. Everdon Champion. Ranging Raptors. Divine Verdict. Sanguine Glorifier. Ixalan's Binding. A Siren Reaver. Jade Craft. Artisan. And Shining Aerosaur. I just don't think this seal format is it as is. aggressive as you think it is. I think it is. Because it's four packs with... This This is a super faster... Yeah. Gareth, yeah. Gareth opened five out of his six um, pre-release packs, built his deck, and then went to clear up and was like, I haven't opened this pack nice. of Born of the Gods. I opened out of the pre-release ones. Yeah, there's a two high and two drops in seal, don't get me wrong. No, I... I understand that normally in any in most sealed formats, two drops wouldn't be as viable. But in this format, they either have some actual evasion or pseudo evasion. Yeah. Or they have extra keywords on them. This, is, this feels a lot like gatecraft. Also, if we take so, a look at the two drops that we've selected for Kyle to, that should be playing, this is pseudo evasion. Yeah. This is a three three that's attacking. Mhm. Mm this is flying when it's attacking. Uh, this makes things attack. This is actually just an absurdly good card in this format. Yeah, 2 mana 2-2 two, two lifelink. That was great in the last format as well. It's a 2 yeah. mana 3-3. Three, three. 2 mana 2 one that loots. Yeah. 2 mana 2 one with evasion that gets rid of blockers. Yeah, actually. so it gives other guys evasion. A 2-4 that's attacking, and a 1-3 that stops dinosaurs. The other thing is that if your opponent plays like... If you can go 2-drop, 3-drop, 2-drop, 2-drop, and your opponent just goes 3-4, you are ahead on board as well. So you use your tricks effectively to trade better or to not even trade. Yeah. Like that's that's the way you approach it. It's like Cal Dash. Like you could easily play in Cal Dash like just one, two and three mana guys. And never care because you just use tricks to trade up. Yeah. And and the three jobs that you do have are acceptable in that. And you have enough tricks above that. Like you have ways to grant evasion. Plus like the the two mana two one in blue that remove like the polymorphs the guy to a naught one. Yeah. Gives your other guys evasion by making their 4-4 four, four yeah. nothing. No, it's, it's legit. Yeah, we can't play this. Yeah, no. you don't have enough life We can't play Farmish Paladin. It's never going on tap. Uh, just play literally anything else. Uh, we'll put Sun Sentinel back in. Yeah, that makes sense. Vigilance. Excellent. Uh, so we'll, we'll be Kyle, we'll Kyle. On round one. Uh, unfortunately, Kyle is paired against Paige, who's too young oh, okay. to stream. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Uh, well, here, have your terrible deck back. I'm gonna play my terrible deck. Okay. Oh, should we take some table two? Why do you want to break so bad? Because Brixie's always on stream once. And it's round one. Sure. Well, yeah, we'll take table two. <laughs> stick, him on, stick him on table round one because. Yep. <laughs> and who, we always want to see what Matt has built. <laughs> True. Matt does build interesting concoctions for us. Right, to I need to go use the bathroom. Sure. I will. Oh, I luckily still have one bottle of water I'll from my sick pack. Stay here. <laughs> All right, I might pop in afterwards and tell you either if I won or whether I switched to playing I, I, the band deck. Game, game two is your swap <laughs> to the band deck. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> Who in the chat agrees with Kyle? Anyone? Random life game. A pre release yesterday. We had a our midnight release. We are doing the our main one is eleven o'clock Saturday, which is the current time where we are. 